Well, today's been an exciting day for me. My Simon's ST5 5 watt solar panel came in. This is a thin film panel based on CIS technology, copper indium diselenide, I believe that's what it stands for. Don't confuse this with the more common amorphous silicon panels that thin film panels are usually based on. This is actually a more efficient material, I've heard. I remember reading in laboratory tests that they've actually gotten up to 20% efficiency with this type of material. Anyway, Simons made this and a bunch of other models. This is the smallest model they made, the ST5, which is 5 watts. The biggest model I heard they made is the ST40. I'm still trying to find one of those, but I haven't had any luck. What happened was, uh, shortly after Simons developed these, I believe uh, Shell Oil Corporation bought out their solar division and then all of a sudden they just discontinued these panels. So anyway, I've gotten it set up. Whoops, uh, over range. We're running at about 20.1 volts open circuit right now. Bought a radio out. This is uh, my little boom box which I've added a 12 volt power jack to the back of it wired in parallel with the battery pack. That's the cigarette lighter. Also brought my car charger and my iPod and my cell phone out. Here's my iGo car charger which you've seen in 12 volt room with the interchangeable ends. We'll hook up and try to see if we could do anything. So I'll plug the car charge in, got the current lighter attached here. Okay, drop to 18.9 volts. And we'll plug in the cell phone. Alright. Says it's charging right now. Don't know if you can see it that well. There's the battery symbol. AT&T charging 18.4 Okay, now let's try the iPod It does charge my cell phone okay, Now I have the iPod connector on There's the battery symbol. I don't know if you can see it that well. It's kind of blurred on my camera. Hit play. I noticed the iPod seems to take a lot of power when it's charging because you see it drops down to 7.1 volts under load. Last but not least, I'm going to try to turn the radio on. So let's uh, unplug the iPod. Set that there. Now we'll plug the radio in. 6692XL, that's 8 my name is Ted Thacker, founder of CCRToday.com. In today's economy, why pay more to fix your computer? We cover everything. Anti-spyware, wireless networks, virus removal, data recovery. All our work is guaranteed. Well, right now, I will come to your home or office for $69. Yes, only six... I wonder if the CD player will work. I know the CD player takes a lot of energy.
30-year fixed at 4.375%. 4.375%. You pay IGS a flat fee of $995. No that always fee, no happens fee, if no you put your fee, cell phone no next to an AM, AM radio. Finance, license, 4. Well, let me go grab a CD and see if they'll play a CD. 5447 5447 Dr. Laura, next on KFI. Okay, one correction. It was not treasury bills today that were auctioned. It was five-year notes, and it went very badly. The auction of five-year notes today went very badly at the Treasury Department. Also, Obama had lunch today with uh, Senate Democrats on the day that the Senate and House began formal consideration of uh, budget resolutions that don't fully reflect a lot of his priorities. Let's see how much charitable or charity people are willing to give him here. Wednesday, March See, I dropped down to eight volts. Now it looks like it doesn't have enough power to play a CD. Though it did spin it. Oh well. Could try to cassette tape later. Alright, shut her down. <laughs>